Welcome back to creepy places in New England, people. And right now, we're in very loud downtown Salem, right next to the uh, Elizabeth Montgomery statue. Um, as you may, people may not, may know, which you should know, is that she played, um, you know, Samantha in Bewitched. So, and there was a little bit of controversy surrounding that because, well, she's not really a witch, but I guarantee half these people who claim to be witches in Salem are fake witches anyway, so in some ways it's kind of appropriate. And look at this. I am going to wiggle her nose. Hey, man, holy shit. Steve, you're back. Where'd I go? You went to hell after you sat on Black Agnes, remember? Yeah, now I remember. I'm never going to do that again. How was the seventh circle? It was bad. It was really bad. Oh, okay. You don't okay. want to go there. I'd rather be here even though this is hell. Okay. Okay. So hold this again. So anyway, on our first stop, hi, we're going to St. Mary's Cemetery, which is in Salem on North End Street. Welcome to St. Mary's Cemetery. It is actually considered the most uh, haunted cemetery in all of New England. A nice little panoramic view. Okay. Enjoy the view. Oh, hi, Steve. You're bending over. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know what specifically. It's just, obviously, it's like probably one of the most oldest cemeteries in Salem, Massachusetts. And um, here's what the people have experienced. Strange sounds. And actually, there's been creepy crows everywhere. I will tell you that. Um, but um, also, too, you got the cement here. And people will actually hear a dog running on the cement. Um, there's actually a sign out in front that says no dogs allowed, so that's kind of interesting. You also get the feeling that you're being watched. Um, are you feel like you're being watched, Steve? You're watching me. Okay. Zooming out, zooming out, okay. Um, you get a sense of being an uneasiness and negative energy. You get any uneasiness and negative energy, Steve? Not from you. You're so mean. So, and actually, in many of the, on some of the websites and, and of, of everything about visiting Salem, this area is considered highly recommended in seeing ghosts. So, hopefully we see some ghosts. Here's a, here's a creepy little spot. John Kennedy. Yeah, John Kennedy, okay. Um, look at all down here. There are like ants everywhere, all crawling all over this thing. Um... You can still see little holes where they're coming out, but it's kind of, it's a little creepy. We haven't really got any senses yet. I mean, the place is huge, and there's actually people in here, so if we're being watched, it might be a, it might be a human. We are approaching a very interesting statue located in this cemetery. Um, it's just, you know, nothing, it's not, I wouldn't say it was incredibly special, but it's pretty cool. Nice little flowers. Hi, how are you? And I'm actually looking at curiosity to check out those stairs up there. Want to come, Steve? Yeah. Well, well, now we're walking up the stairs. Lots of stairs. Good exercise. If more Americans exercise, we wouldn't be the fattest nation in the industrialized world. Actually, in the entire world, really. Are we going to McDonald's after this? Yes, we're going to McDonald's after this. We'll get the do triple double cheeseburgers or something. And look at that. It's a cross. Oh. <laughs> okay. Veteran cemetery. It's a veteran cemetery. On Interesting. Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> yeah, huh? Well, we're going to be approaching the cross. And like I said, we still haven't, except for the, the eerie-ass crows, nothing has really happened much here, unfortunately. And I'm pretty sure it's one of those places you can't come to at night because of, well... Crackheaded vandals, of course. I did just hear a twig snap. Of course, I could be. Re Sorry, those stairs are tiring. I guess I went up them a little too loud. I mean, a little too hard. Oh, shut up. <sighs> okay. And we got little flags everywhere. Here's another little interesting uh, statue, monument. Look, everybody. It's Jesus. He is my Lord and my Shepherd. Actually, he is not my Lord and Shepherd. But he's, Steve's a Catholic, so he's actually his Lord and Shepherd. Now look at here, people. A freshly dug grave. No one's in it yet. But um, I'm assuming that probably uh, 
today, maybe later on today, but most likely tomorrow, this grave will have a new occupant. Just want to show you this. It's a nice little iron cross. Now, I have been drawn into this area. I'm not getting any negative energy. I just feel like being drawn in here. Something about the woods. That's kind of like freaking me out. Is there anyone here? Hey, Steve Morrow. Yeah, Charles. Have you had any feelings that you're being watched? Uh, actually, I did. How so? Well, remember when we first came, we saw the crow, like, followed into us and watched us park? Oh, yeah, he was on top of a cross, and I tried to get a picture of it, but the little bugger flew away when I took the camera out. He actually kept flying, he's been flying away from us all the time. And then they've been, like, keeping their distance, but they've been kind of watching us, or nearby, the whole time that we've been in this fairly large cemetery. And and the biggest irony of it all is, every time I try to take a picture of him or videotape him, I really have a lot of difficulty. But when I actually mentioned it, they kind of now disappeared, like they know that we're talking about them. Maybe, maybe. We're in uh, St. Mary's Cemetery, and uh, it was just cool. There was actually a crow, a black crow, right on top of there, and unfortunately I couldn't get it out in time, but you might have seen it running. This place has eerie crows, and I've been trying to get a nice little video of the crows, but they keep, fuckers keep flying off on me. And now, why did Steve see that? Well, let me show you, show you this. There's all these wind chimes in the trees, because I actually thought I heard chimes, and luckily we found them kind of, kind of, down, kind of debunked. It's this teddy bear right there. But what makes this so sad is that these are actually children. Almost all of them are children. Uh, Case in point, this one's only a, was only a couple months old. Uh, you know, some of them, some of them don't give the date. But look at this one. This one wasn't even a year old. Nor was this one. And so this is actually like the children's cemetery. They're all young. Uh, there's actually one here. Let me see if I can find it. Look at this one. This one was she was he he no he she was only uh, two days old when she died. Uh, we'll get another one. Yeah, a lot of them, are, as you see, are not that old. 1989. Uh, here yeah, another one. Didn't approach one years old. This one, she, he, was like two. So this is actually kind of, this is actually a very sad cemetery. Oh, here's the one right here. This one is not, was not even a day old. Sorry if I'm using the word it. I was not intending on any disrespect. I'm just saying. 